uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you how you can extract text from a PDF document and save it into a txt file using uh, node.js and we will be using this package which is pdf dash parse pdf parse and uh, we have this pdf uh, document available here book.pdf it's a simple ebook and it basically contains this text out there it also contains images but in this tutorial we will all only be extracting only the text and saving it to a txt file so whatever text is present inside this pdf document will get saved inside the text file so now we will basically run the script right here so let me run this node index.js so you will see in the left hand side all the text will be console log you can see in the console and a txt file is created file.txt and if I open this file here you will see all the text is successfully extracted and basically it is saved inside this text file so we will be seeing this how to do this in tutorial let me delete this file and for doing this th this is the actual module that we are using here so if you visit npmjs.com and uh, search for this package pdf dash parse and the very first result which comes you need to select this result and it's a pure javascript cross platform library which extracts text from a pdf document it has over 165 weekly downloads and uh, we will be now be using this library so first of all make a index.js file after installation we need to require the file system module so require it we also need to require this library pdf dash parse and then we will write a async function which is extract text from pdf this function will basically receive the pdf file path and whenever we call this function we will actually pass the pdf file path so it is present inside the same directory which is book.pdf so whenever we call this so it's a async function so we will write our all the code in the try catch block so if any sort of error take place you can console log it so first of all guys what we need to do inside this try catch we now need to read the pdf file so for reading it we will basically convert the text into a buffer so file system do provides us a method which is read files synchronously and here we will pass the pdf path and if you console log the data buffer it will convert the text into a buffer if you see so this is a buffer object so whatever text available inside pdf it has first of all converted into a buffer now we need to extract the text for extracting the text we will basically say here uh, we will actually use the library here we will say await because this is an async function here and we will actually use the library here and here we will actually pass the data buffer here so now if you console log this value it will actually contain the text if you just console log it and run this node.js script once again you will now see basically it will have a object and we actually get all the text which is metadata number of pages which is 40 uh, info pdf format version acro form title of the pdf book author who is the author who is the creator who is the producer so all this meta information you can get guys and also plus extract text out there so whatever text is available inside the pdf document you also get so now we need to save this text inside a uh, txt file so we will first of all extract only the text property so we will say that data.text so if you now console log the text value it it will only contain the text you will now see only containing the text property and lastly we need to save it to a txt file so now to save it to a txt file we just need to uh, 
use the file system module and it does provide us as a method guys which is uh, uh, write files synchronously and here we will actually pass our file name which is file dot text and then the name of the file which is file dot txt and then the encoding type so this will be utf dot 8 that's all so if you run the file so I think this needs to come before the file name needs to come before file dot txt and then the actual text which is txt that's all if you now run this so now you will see guys file dot txt will be get created you can even change the name of the file let's suppose to rr once again run this you will see rr gets created and this is the this will contain all the text of the pdf document guys so in this way you can use the pdf parts library to find the meta information about metadata of the pdf document and also extract the text of the pdf document and save it into a txt file so thank you very much guys for watching this tutorial please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video